Hey, what is going on everybody? How you all doing out there? This is Regan and thanks for tuning back into our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the newly announced figure of Hot Toys, Koska Reeves and Axe Wolves from the Mandalorian TV series. Before we start, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video, especially Hot Toys. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with Koska Reeves' figure, she was a human female Mandalorian who was a member of the Night Owls. Several years after the Great Purge, Reeves was in the Moon of Trask where she helped steal an Imperial Guzandi class cruiser alongside Lady Bokatan Kreis, Axe Wolves, and the Jarin. Great news for all Mandalorian fans, we are going to have her to add to our Star Wars Mandalorian line. It is definitely going to look great in your collection. Okay, she has almost the same accessory that regular Mandalorians have, including the grappling hook and the flamethrower effect. The interchangeable hands or the extra interchangeable hands looks pretty good. It has terrific scope, paint applications are so good, and weathering effects are amazing. Even the rifle blaster has plenty room for poses. The Star Wars dynamic figure stand has a base that has some nice weathering effects too. It looks good. Just like the other Mandalorian figures, she has those boots with genuine leather look. It always amazes me to see the materials used for this. However, since it's still pleather, it requires good care and maintenance. The details on her pants are fantastic. They are neatly tailored and it has pleather patchwork that has intricate details. The utility belt made of genuine pleather again is riddled with nice details. The armor looks so good guys. I love the details and weathering effects. I like that this Mandalorian armor has a distinct unique look. The helmet design is just wow. It has some scuffing effects and nice paint application too. The jetpack is hidden at the back so I can't really show it to you but I'm pretty sure it looks good. Oh, I forgot to mention it has a pistol blaster that also looks nice. Moving on to the head sculpt, it looks absolutely great. The hair sculpt and braids are neatly done and the skin tone and texture are perfect. Based on what I see, it looks good. However, I'm not 100% sure if it's really as accurate as it was in the film or to the character. But since this is just a prototype, so hopefully they will improve it. So overall, I think it looks great. Definitely a must buy for Mandalorian fans. I can't wait to see the final product. I'm just gonna leave it here. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments below before we talk about Axe Wolves. So let's talk about Axe Wolves. He was also introduced in the second season of Mandalorian together with Reeves and Lady Bokatan. As a member of Clan Cries, led by the legendary Mandalorian Bokatan, Axe Wolves fights alongside her and Koska Reeves in their quest to regain control of Mandalore. During their mission in the planet of Trask, they proved to be a formidable team fighting together with Din Djarin to seize the Imperial Cruiser. Another great news for Mandalorian fans and Star Wars collectors is Hot Toys announcement of another Mandalorian figure together with Reeves. It is clad in a blue colored armor, however, it doesn't include any headscape of character. Well, probably because of the licensing or approval of, from the actor unless Hot Toys doesn't want to add another headscape since it might not be marketable because it is not a main character. Just saying, this figure doesn't have many accessories compared to Koska Reeves aside from the jetpack. However, you will surely enjoy the figure as it has a great details in its armor. It also has interchangeable hands, extra interchangeable hands which are two pairs with different gestures. The specially designed team base is the same as that of Koska Reeves figure. The boots are amazing. One will notice that it looks like 
genuine leather although it is made out of pleather material again great care has to be given as to keep it from cracking the inner suit also has some neat tailoring the armor looks great very nice details and weathering effects are fantastic nice color combination there are a lot of dents in the armor showing signs of many battles faced axe wolves has only one weapon it's the blaster pistol however i'm not sure if he has a rocket on his jetpack because he has that range finder maybe there is or not at all i think overall it looks great for sure it's going to be sold out because it really is a very nice looking figure it's definitely a must buy and you should because it will make your Mandalorian collection awesome. I think that's all I could say. Let me know your thoughts on this figure, these two figures. Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.